Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Rianth Online Academy. And here in this session, we are going to discuss very very important MCQs for the searching algorithm. So we are seeing very very important session here. Question number one is, when is the worst case occur in a linear search algorithm? So four options are given to us. Item is somewhere in the middle of array. So if item is somewhere in the middle of array, it is not worst case. It is considered as a average case. Item is not in the array at all. If item is not an in the array, it may be the case of worst case. It may be, but let's uh, let's scan the remaining two option as well. I item is the last element in the array. So if you will see, I if item is not in the array at all, then also we need to traverse the complete completely. We need to traverse in the array, isn't it? And if item is at the last position, then also we need to search or we need to compare with all the elements in the array. So if we combine B and C both, the option D is item is the last element in the array or item is not there at all. So option D is the correct answer. And this question was asked in UGC Net CS. So read all the options carefully because most candidates what they do, they see that item is not in the array at all. Yeah, it is the condition of the worst case, and they click it. But they don't see that what the next two options is. So read all four options carefully, then decide that which of the following is most accurate. Because UGC Net CS exam is like most accurate answer should be. there and they ask such kind of questions regularly in each and every year's paper so focus on the question it is very important part the next question is suppose there are 11 items in the sorted order in an array okay we are considering that 11 items are in the sorted array okay sorted order in an array how many searches are required on the and on the average how many searches are required if binary search is implied and all searches are successfully find in finding the item so we can consider it like suppose it is a one element and total 11 elements are there na then is it is second one and it is third one one element two third we need to make 11 element so it is four It is five. We can consider it as a four. We can consider it as a five. We can consider it as a six. We can consider it as a seven. Now eight, nine, ten, eleven means either I can do here or either I can do here. It is equally no problem. So suppose I am doing here eighth element, ninth element. It is tenth element and it is eleventh element. Is it okay, guys? Now the question is saying that. all searches are successful in finding the item all searches are very very successful in order to finding the item so for finding first element one comparison will be required isn't it for second for this item two comparison required and for this element again two comparison will required one is on the middle element and one on the right side similarly for element 2 again two comparison required means for for the middle element and for left one if i talk about this element then three comparison will required 1 2 3 for this also three comparison required for this element also three comparison required and for this element also three comparison required for a, for searching this element four comparison will be required for this one also four comparison required for this four comparison and for this one also four comparison i hope you are getting it right now if i uh, sum it sum it up so 1 plus 2 3 plus 2 we can sum it like 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 into 4 because total number of comparison i am counting plus 4 into 4 Here four 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 four. So here one plus four plus twelve plus twenty four, isn't it? T equals to twenty four plus. Okay, four four just sixteen now. Sixteen plus two eighteen plus ten twenty eight plus one twenty nine thirty three elements are there. But what this question is on an average they are asking about average. So divide this thirty three by eleven because we have eleven elements equals to three. Point zero zero. So option A is the correct answer. Means on an average, I will require at least three comparison. 
okay i hope you go, you got it the so it is isro cs question and very very important and once also asked in gate so i hope you got the concept the next question is the average number of key comparisons done in successful sequential search in a list of length n is so we here in the question they are asking about sequential search so in a sequential search for uh, for searching first element i will require for searching first element i will require one comparison for searching second element second number element i will require two comparison for searching third element i will require three comparison for searching nth element i will require n comparisons okay guys now in total if i will count 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot 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 n it is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 this is the total number of comparisons required total number of comparisons required in sequential search but here our question is average number of key comparisons so for average what i can do i can divide it again by 2n and total elements are how many total elements for an average total elements are n so i can divide it with n n got cancelled with n so remaining one is n plus 1 divided by 2 why i divided it by n because in question they asked about average number of key comparisons so if you will observe here option d is the most correct answer so it is a gate computer science question and i hope you got the pattern isn't it so it is very obvious chances that gate computer science question might be asked in upcoming ugc net cs isro or nilit because it is a convenient that they ask repeated question from gate so if you are solving previous year gate question also na it will help you in some other exams of the computer science ahead so you can at least go with the previous 15 years gate computer science papers question number 4 is finding an element whether that is present in a list or not is known as finding an element whether it is present in list or not it is called as searching it is the definition of searching very easy question the next question is the complexity of binary search algorithm is order of log base 2 n why base 2 because binary search is there okay so order of log base 2 n option b is the correct answer it is a kvs pgt computer science question the next question is if the number of records to be sorted is small then which type of sorting technique can be efficient so if number of sorted record is small then we use selection sort because selection sort is used or is preferred when the sorted number of elements are very small basically overall complexity of merge sort is an log n isn't it but what we need to do here is heap sort is used when either we want to find max element or mean element on the array and bubble sort of time complexity is order of n square so basically we ignore that now remaining ones priority on the depending question is if the number are very large then we go for merge sort because of their uh, uh, laser complexity and if our priority on the max or mean then we use heap so selection sort is used whenever the sorted number of elements or the record in the number of elements are basically laser or small then we use selection sort so option c is the most correct answer once asked in nvs pgt computer science paper the next question is interpolation search is a variation of bar computer science question very very important interpolation search is a variation of binary search basically interpolation search is like binary search what binary search is all about either we we find middle element and after that either we go to the left or right depending on the what element we need to find but interpolation search is all about there when when the when uh, there is a, a unique uh, you can say that when there is a, a uniformly difference between the element suppose 2 4 6 8 10 so when there is a uniform difference between the element now then we go for interpolation search so uh, interpolation search uh, basically do not go to middle or left or right it depends upon the which element we need to find and on the basis of that it can go to that element right so it is somewhat kind of interpolation search so 
it is the question was interpolation search is a variation of so it is a variation of binary search right so i just give you a clear scenario about the concept as well so that you can get at least the what the concept is all about what the topic is all about right guys i am requesting you please subscribe our youtube channel share it with your friends and please comment your query if you have, if you are finding any time any kind of doubt or query while solving these questions right so we will try to solve your doubts and query very very uh, as soon as possible from our side and uh, if you are really liking this mcq session from our side then guys please show your response you can show your response by liking our videos so that at least we can uh, we can uh, aim that aim for more mcq sessions and please subscribe our youtube channel as well guys the next question is which of the following is not the required condition for a binary search algorithm the list must be sorted so it is a required condition that list must be sorted until and unless list is not sorted we can't apply binary search so it is a uh, you can say that required condition okay there should be direct access to the middle element in any sublist it is also one kind of required and number value should be only present it is also required number value should be present so there must be mechanism to delete or insert element in the list this kind of this is not, this is not a requirement condition for binary search okay so option c is answered because we have asked that which is not the required condition so it is option c is not a kind of required condition in binary search algorithm the next one is what is the aug, uh, what is the auxiliary space requirement of the interpolation search so in interpolation search what is the auxiliary space auxiliary space is order of one because in interpolation search we do not need any auxiliary space we don't need any auxiliary space there now order of one is the correct answer the next one is which of the following is the fastest algorithm in string matching field so for string matching field quick search algorithm is the fastest algorithm the complexity of quick search sort in finding the uh, finding the fastest algorithm string is order of m plus n you can say that n is the uh, basically list of complete uh, complete uh, elements and m is the number of elements in the string if you are confused with linear search algorithm linear search algorithm basically used for finding in particular element finding a particular element in the list finding a particular or you can say that searching a particular element in the list for that linear search is used but quick search is used when we need to a uh, quick search is uh, fastest fastest when when it is fastest when we need to find string matching field so for particular string matching field quick search algorithm is used and the uh, best case complexity is order of m plus n so you can note that option c is the most correct answer so guys i hope all the questions which i have discussed with you with regard of searching algorithm are clear to you and guys do subscribe our youtube channel in our next lecture i am trying to provide you some more important mcqs and remaining topics and we'll also notify you with the important notifications as well so guys do subscribe our youtube channel press the bell icon button so that at least we can get a response from you and please share it with your friends as well so that they can also get prepared with yourself and you can do discuss so guys have a very very nice day jai hind jai bharat